Howdy folks, if you want to see how I did this 20s inspired smoky eye flapper time travel look, just watch on, it'll make sense in the video. So I already did the base for my eyes, kind of carved out my brows a little bit using the technique I used last video. I'm just setting with a lighter powder this time. It's going to be 13 from the Naked Smoky palette. Because today we're going for a very high concept smoky eye. I'm thinking flapper girl somehow time travels to current day instead of i don't know taking revenge on the rockefeller she just goes to sephora and lives her best life because she doesn't have to make a smoky eye with grease paint and tears i'm gonna go into combust from the naked smoky palette and kind of just do a really lazy wash I'm not gonna take it too far up because i want this to actually be a smoky eye focus the darkness right towards the lash line just do a big dose a little bit <laughs> and then now's where we go real fun with this perversion pencil. I just like it because it's very, very, very black hole black. Doesn't have to be exact because we are just kind of going to smudge it as a base. So that we can have this be like black hole black. Kind of focusing it towards the out and then blending more so in. And trust me, this is not going to be the only layer of this because layering is your friend. If you want a little more darkness towards the center, but you don't want it to be too heavy, kind of just dot. That's what I find helps, especially if you're going to be just blending it out. Make sure when you're blending it, it can get a little bit bigger at the ends. Almost kind of buff it out beyond a little bit so that way it kind of gives a bigger look so it doesn't just make your eyes like small and intense like little beetles or something now that we have some of that dark base going i'm going to over with black market still from the naked smoky palette kind of, kind of set and blend over the edges and time for the most important part just just blending make sure to not go too high up and it doesn't have to be exactly perfect yet because you are going to be putting another transition shade right between that. Kind of blending as you go is better than kind of just putting it all there and being like, Oh, this works. <laughs> and with our trusty little C brush, I'm going to take a little bit of dagger and kind of pat slightly over where we put it. Not going like over into the crease. Just doing little baby patting motions. Beep, 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 beep. Kind of alternate the stamping and the blending you really can go darker but it's hard to once you already go really really black really really dark really hard to tone that down and you can even find yourself mixing together that dagger and that black heart together make sure when you're placing it you're not going above the crease but we don't want to make it all dark all black lash to crease we want it to kind of give a nice fade effect so i'm going back into black heart I'm kind of stamping again towards the outer half just so we could re-intensify that again and then i'll probably do another layer of liner because i don't know when to stop and you have to make sure the ends are super super diffused because that's kind of the point of smoky eye to make it look very black but very quickly diffused through and give that like power and intensity to it yes i, I could kill you and you'd love it sort of effect just going into that outer corner again with the liner just to intensify again i'm going to mix together slanted and dagger because i just want to add a little bit of light but not too much i'm going to focus that more towards the inner half of my lid don't really want to just rely on sparkles because fun fact, plastic glitter was not invented until the 1930s. I feel like she'd be confused and alarmed and concerned if she was in Sephora and there was all this glitter shit. And would be concerned about putting that near her eyeballs. Like I wish people were with craft glitter. Don't, don't do it. That's how you end up goddamn blind. And now I'm going in again for the third time <laughs> to intensify that liner. Like I said slow and steady and then i'll make sure you don't have any of those little lashy gaps either which just breaks any sort of illusion that indeed i did wake up like this because my kink is confusing straight men into thinking I actually woke up with silver and black eyeballs because they're so fucking stupid going in with that black eyeshadow one more time on a little pointed brush just to further diffuse out 
also like to, to point out how little fallout I actually have. If you actually do this ridiculous tip, 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 and you build it up slowly as opposed to going fucking ham, I'm like you're digging for gold, then you don't have to actually look like a raccoon and be sad when it gets all over your concealer or if you don't do it before everything, it won't be a big old fuck a mess. Just going back into the 13 shade and just re-brightening up under that brow bone. I want to keep it more matte because I'm going to go matte with the complexion because I feel like more so they use like powders and cake makeup and a little bit more matte looking makeup back in said time. So now I'm going to go into my complexion with into this makeup prep which is going to be like a hydrating oil free like moisturizing base and then I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian clay to kind of go in time matte skin complexion. Just apply it with a beauty blender. I think it's pretty boring to just watch me dip 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 It's not that revolutionary, y'all. With a smoky eye, you want to make sure you have absolutely no other sort of darkness under your eyes because you're already doing that with liner. I'm going to go into the heavy duty older packaging of the Total Creases Concealer from Tarte. It's almost gone. I am going to apply it with my fingers because it is like a thicker consistency concealer. Like I'm not sure if you could see. Or here. That would, be, that would be some fun ASMR. Just, oh god, that looks... Never, never mind. Um, no. no. Stamp, 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 stamp. And then we stamp, 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 stamp. Blend that into the skin until it's nice and warmed up and thin. Make sure the end of your smoky eye is more of a lift as opposed to a droop. We're not going for no bibble look today. Maybe later. But not today. Just going to go back with my beauty blender and just make sure it's as diffused as possible. Because under your eyes, once again, you cannot blend enough. I'm going to go into under my eyes. I'm going to go with like a dark gray eyeliner from Sephora. I'm going to be real. I'm not sure if they still make this anymore. But I sure hope so. Because I love gray. Especially under the eyes when you do a black on top. Just kind of makes it look a little more realistically like a shadow. I'm gonna focus, like the other video, focus more towards the outside and then blend in the excess. I want to make sure it is pretty much seamlessly blend into the top shadow and liner because you don't want to break that smoky eye and make any harsh edges. So diffuse, diffuse, diffuse like the damn bomb. I'm gonna go back into that perversion pencil and just line my waterline with that. I know not everyone is going to be able to do that. I've basically been wearing contacts since grade school, so I can basically stick a pin in my eye and not care. And I'm setting it with that black market people might not be able to do. But basically I am a fucking warrior, so I can do anything. And I'm just going to use a mixture of the dagger and the slanted to blend out and set the bottom liner out. And I'm bringing it all the way around. We ain't afraid of being no nocturnal raccoon. Because I know I'm fucking fabulous this regardless. Also use like either my finger or my beauty blender too. That kind of helps to mix some of the concealer in. You don't want to obviously mix too much or else it's like green and gross and, and not cute. I think this might be a look. I'm going to go and do my lip before I do complexion because I am going to go with a semi-authentic berry red. I find whatever you already have a lot going on with the eyes and then you're going to have a bold lip because you're a fucking powerful woman and, and nobody can, can fucking stop you. That doing the complexion and the blush last helps you preventing and getting that like two dolly effect because once again I'm going to go authentic with that too and kind of go with that deeper tone. Also just because I like it. Now to go with the air, we're gonna amplify that Cupid's bow. Just make sure it's more of a rounded style. Tighten in on the inner line. I already have a somewhat large, not somewhat large, I'm fucking white, so powder your bottom lip. So I'm really gonna follow that. And then just gonna follow where the top ends. I'm just gonna go over evenly all over with the lip liner as well. This is weird to do when you're talking and doing it at the same time. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go around and kind of clean up the edges with that same all-nighter concealer I use as a base. So to make sure I don't go over the edges, I just nicely concealed it. And I'll stick it this lipstick is like up. 
well loved, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna be using a brush to kind of melt that into the color I currently have on me lippies. So now that I have this berry lip popping, I'm gonna go into my complexion. I am gonna go to my Pistol no Resistance. Or Pistol, fuck, I don't speak French, I don't fucking know. But my favorite blush ever. It's the best fucking color for every single skin tone as it builds up. So I can use it on my fair complected body. But it goes beautifully on women of color as well. Like it goes perfectly with the lip I have and kind of this whole 20s time traveler theme. <laughs> Going in with that angled style brush. I'm gonna focus it more so the upper bit of the apples and then blend back. It's also nice too because it's not completely matte or flat, but it's not just glitter. Because I want to keep this matte but modern. I'm also going to go a little bit into like a foundation powder of sorts to set around my nose. So that way it has even more of that like flat matte finish. Mainly focusing around there because that's where I actually have issues with my makeup breaking down. This is always just a good look too. Just like, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho oh. ho. God, so much of Instagram makeup is such a fucking farce. If anybody actually was doing it like they did, they would look just as ugly as I do with all seven chins. So now I'm gonna go into... God, God that's just a fun sound to make. Good. I'm just gonna go into brows. I'm not even gonna try and do some Clara Bow sort of situation. I'm sure after the time time machine and everything, she, she's so glad natural brows are back in and she doesn't have to tweeze or shave hers off anymore. But now I have to actually decide to commit to this weird wig I decided. I'm just gonna take blonde brow gel, gel before I put on any sort of powder. Or anything. And I'm gonna go into Ember from the Face Shape Palette. And kind of stamp that through the rest of my brows. Cause I ain't playing with no dip brow, no green gel stuff. I already got thick enough brows. Thanks, Dad. Like, it's really not exciting. I don't have, like, an excited, fleeky eyebrow thing, because I don't fucking need it. I'm just gonna sandwich it again with another layer. Okay, so now we have that completed. I am gonna go off camera, finish up with mascara, lashes, bring down all of these beautiful tresses to leave my modernized flapper time traveler fantasy. And with some additional lighting, lip gloss, and lashes, my look is complete. I don't care if this wig is shining brighter than the- f Oh god, what, what do they say at the, in, in Annie? Right at the top of the Chrysler building. For every single fin loser like me that was in Annie and remembers it very fondly. Probably why I like the red hair so much. Time for everyone's favorite, gratuitous faux modeling. <laughs> So that was a thing. So if you want to see me do more way too high concept weird makeup videos again, feel free to subscribe. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments and be sure to follow me on all my social media, which I will have in the description. Have a good radical day. Ah.